Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Wizardry 7. I'm just a little bit confused because it took so long for the uh, thingy to start here. Oh well. So let's load a game. I haven't played this game for two weeks. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, fuck this. Well, I did play it. I did grind. And you may notice a change here in this area. Yes, I decided to make Gilbert a ranger. I leveled her to level 8. Uh, the main reason, I was checking the stats that you need to, uh, well, level up. And a ranger only needs, uh, an elven ranger, I have to say, only needs like two piety and one speed to get back to Valkyrie. And I was like, hmm, if I get her now up to a level 10 ranger, maybe, and then switch her back to a Valkyrie, then she can learn at least 10 new cleric spells. And we desperately need a little bit more uh, in the holy department. <laughs> Sure, she's not really... Oh, she still is pretty good at casting healing, so that's fine. Um, she also got some Academia in Alchemy. I don't really focus too much on Alchemy because... Meh. I don't know if I can just switch around like this easily. Like, if I turn her back into Valkyrie, level 10 levels, switch her back to Ranger, level 10 levels, and so on and so forth. Because that may be a pretty good idea to gain a lot of spells, or all spells at least, in the Cleric and Alchemy department. Uh, Niano needs a lot to level up now. Uh, she still hasn't gotten a Nuclear Blast. Which I guess it's because they are low, well not low, but not so high Taumaturgy. I am considering changing her to a mage, maybe? But then she... You need 15 piety and int in order to become a bishop, and there's no way in hell that she will get it back. And she can only change to these three classes, which is more horrible. Uh, you did see me changing Falaga into a ninja, and I can change him back to a... Ooh, I can change it back to a ranger if I want to, but nah. Then again, we already have one samurai, and I know from six how bad it turns out. Uh, yeah, Will is a level 10 samurai, he will level up soonish. He can change it to a ranger, a bard, nothing too special. Celt, of course, can change into almost anything that he wants, but we won't do this because we want a fairy ninja. Uh, Negatsu, I'm still considering making him an alchemist at some point. To get a few more spells, a little bit more spellcasting power. It is tempting. It is tempting. But he really needs a few levels in a base in a class so he gets a little bit more HP. I mean, he has abysmal HP. Oh well, I decided today that I want to try out the undead one more time. One more time, we have to go this way? Yes. And if I fail horribly, then we will go to the land of dreams. Okay, okay. Uh, Lady Gilvan, cast Enchanted Blade, please. Negatsu cast magic screen. Nyanu cast armor plate and let's pick it up. Standing at the pick me altar, blah blah blah, we already read this. Take the black globe. Maybe Falaga is able to do a little bit more damage now to these things. And yeah. Falaga's power oh. <laughs> Okay, my three front row fighters are all paralyzed. That's that's a good start. Uh, we have four skeleton lords. Okay, Negatsu, how about you cast Zap Undead? I think Zap Undead is a single target spell, but maybe we get one of them out of the equation. That would be great. Uh, 
you cast air pocket to prevent us from any nasty air spells and you I don't know if death wish works on the undead I kinda highly doubt it so how about a nice haste and let's see how this works out eh? okay they did a lot of damage didn't really help, but it did a lot of damage. <laughs> and Negatsu is dead after one fireball. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I I will... We had a full magic screen going on here, for fuck's sake. Oh, well, terminate. We will come back here later. A lot later when I'm like level 50 or so yeah I, I I'm still quite convinced that this game is not really balanced for new parties I will I will mention it in like a, a resume after I finish this game but this game in my opinion has a lot of problems I guess if you really know the game, like the back of your hand, it will be a lot better, of course. If you import a group on six, it will be a lot better, of course. Um, but if you're playing the game for like kind of the first time, even with a walkthrough, I, I would be lost without a walkthrough. I would never play this game without a walkthrough. That is... I would have no idea what to ask these people, what is important why I have to do this. I also feel the story so far is a little bit not really present. I mean, I really don't know why I suddenly feel like finding this holy work just because some guy mentioned it. I mean, okay. I don't know. I don't know what happened that I told the Borns that the D'Artagnan Alliance is broken. I don't even know what the D'Artagnan Alliance is. And I don't know, it, it just, just it just feels so disconnected, like I don't belong in this world somehow. <laughs> and I already feel like this all the time in real life, so... <laughs> the Holy City Munkarama. That was a weird sound. Okay, Palace of the Grand Melange, the Land of Dreams. Hi! The lighting is low, seductively illuminating the inner chamber of the palace, and deep in the background you hear the enchanting melody of some stringed musical instrument, softly twanging as it accompanies the haunting sing-song of a flute. The dead is quite immaculate and exquisite, from the silky colored rails which hang from its ceiling to the many exotic fantasy of murals which adorn its pristine walls. Its atmosphere is sweet and perhaps a bit sick with the scented fragrance of incense. They are not at all unpleasant. With mild surprise you turn and see a quiet figure standing where... Okay. What is it that you seek? We seek inner dreams. And those that cannot walk the land of dreams? They walk the land of the living dead. You have learned well the lessons of those who would dream. Our membership fees 500 pieces of gold. Do you wish to join? Yes. Then you are welcome to come as often as you need. You must find your own place here, for only in your own place will you be able to walk the land of dreams. No one can tell you where that place will be. It is something you must find for yourself. And remember this warning. If in your dreams you see a black door, you must turn and not go through. It is the passageway between the realms of life and death, and if you enter, you will be trapped, lost in the land of madness, where you shall endlessly wander forever. Do not forget but the black door. 
the palace of monk leaves okay that sounds inviting <laughs> Uh, the upcoming maze of rooms with up and down letters can be very confusing. Oh, yay! I don't need to cast the direction spell. Fuck it. You notice a funny smell in the end. It makes you feel a bit lightheaded. <laughs> hey, I'm lightheaded. Okay, there's not really much I can do wrong here. Uh, okay. Oh! Two choices! Uh, let's see. Up ladder one. Down. Three letters here. Down four. What? What? Where, where the fuck am I? I'm like. It doesn't make any sense. I'm already lost. I'm already lost. Wonderful. Exactly what I always wanted. Oh yeah, there I am. <laughs> let's go down here. The room is clouded with sweet hazy smoke and a shimmer of swirling colors. Makes you feel strangely dizzy. From out of the world something begins to take form. The Dream Weaver. Okay. Uh, how much hit points do you have? 51. Okay. Well, just fight him. Yeah, at least they are doing some damage now. <laughs> okay. Fine! Be like that! <laughs> An old, old monk is lying sedate and serene on a mat upon the floor. Surrounded by many curtains, puffing on a long stem pipe, his eyes still closed. He parts the curtains as you approach. In mesmerizing tones, he begins to chant. Life is but a dream. All seek, but do not find. They won the endless chase. Do you know how to catch the horse? It wants the endless chase. It is by watching it. To see where it is going. That you see where it will be. This is how to catch the horse. This is how to catch a dream. How now shall row your boat? Life is but a dream. Then the old, old monk is silent for a moment. When suddenly his eyes pop open and he snaps his fingers. Two nymphs suddenly appear from out of nowhere and join him on the mat, cooing and softly pampering him. Smiling, he gives you a wink. Then draws the curtain closed. You stand there aghast, as if dazed, not flinching. Okay. Then furiously jerk the curtain back. <laughs> While he is furiously jerking. But there's only an empty mat. And the sweet smell of a fragrant smoking pipe. Falaga got an item. Okay, that is weird, kinda, I guess. Do I really want to be here? <laughs> it's it's kind of weird here, you know. Let's go this way. Up and down and left and right. The room is clouded with sweet hazy smoke and a shimmer of swirling colors make you feel strangely dizzy. From out of the world, something begins to take form. Nightmare. Oh.
So it punches the nightmare. Psionic fires. That's not good. Oh, this Salt is doing some damage here. Okay. Oh, Salt defeated the nightmares. That's so cute. Let's heal up. I'll heal up a little bit more, otherwise he would have been dead if he were in full health. It's a chest to the right. Ah, not a 420 bladed monk. Splayed in an uncomely fashion in the corner lies a wet beggar looking monk. Eyes rolled back into his head and drool running from out of his mouth. He is thin and gaunt, pale and dirty, and his odors folly pungent, even at several paces distant. You surmise that his abuse of this establishment has led him to this condition, and you note how viciously such intoxications and addictions seize the soul, dragging one down the desperate pass. A voice from behind you speaks, and you peer into the shadows. A figure emerges. His voice barely audible, you strain to hear. It is a twig within a twig. And a formidable combination it is. Those who are trapped seek escape. And the path to escape yields but further entrapment. Thus are all fooled, and the escape that they crave forever eludes them. They attempt freedom from the suffering of their life. While it is from themselves that their bonds are sustained. The trap is not the chains of life. The trap is the prison of themselves. Do you know why people like to laugh? It is the taste of momentary freedom. And to be able to laugh at oneself is the ultimate act of freedom. An act most difficult to do. It is why escape remains so elusively hidden from all but a very, very few. Then the figurine walks away, fading into the shadows. You turn back to face the pitiful wretch in the corner. But nothing there remains. <gasps> you glance black back into the shadows and then back into the corner and sense that there was something familiar about the two. From deep in the darkness you hear the laughter of a distant monk. Its echoes eventually fading into the quiet of the den. Okay, let's save. Save the dungeon too from previous. <clears throat> Can I rest here without dying horribly? Come on, we generate some hit points. The hit point regeneration this game is so slow! Mana! Gosh, mana! Okay, this arm Celt. Inspect it. Okay, this is definitely there. Is this possible? Yes. Life Stealer. Snake Eater! A liar! Okay. You can't take this. Golden apples and a scroll. What is this liar that you. Chromatic liar. Okay. No idea what that does, but. Pretty sure it would be awesome. At least. Okay. Well, let's go back to the area where we haven't been yet. That was this, yes. We are at 11. 
The room is clouded with sweet hazy smoke and a shimmer of swirling colors make you feel strangely dizzy. From out of the world something begins to take form. Furies. Fury in the slaughterhouse. We will fight those Furies the next time. And carry on with the land of dreams. Let's see <laughs> how it works out. Eh? I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.